Wanna bite me, Wolfie? You look familiar. The eternal fire protects us. But the witch is sure coming to know the eternal. Ram, ram, it's all again. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How are you doing? Took care of it. Traitor said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on access once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Noble cause. Well, you're vouching for it. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Satori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Greetings. Oh, Garrett. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. Now he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the Sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Alright, 
We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Black ones, Redanians. As long as they pay and don't hit. No, it's everywhere. I, I see it all around. Oh, my coin. It's a deal of a lifetime. <clears throat> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I'll lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? None of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. Where are those crafting supplies? Must be it. stink of ammonia. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Garrett. It's the bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus! Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you! That plowing non human will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs! Hands off my brother-in-law, swine! Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these plowing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam! Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me brother-in-law. Attack! <laughs> Guard with this fighter. Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes to. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first, we have to move these crates to our Tories. True. I ought to pay him a visit, too. Next time as well. 
Or is it a fat pouch of coin from family or seeds? No. Either way, you're waiting in fact. Look, eternal fires like to go out for a minute. Looking for something amusing. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. Have no need of sucrus anymore, and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. Greetings, Ivier. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? Not quite. Come back later. What do you have on offer?
so long. But there's also crippled trees. The rosemary and the silver. What say the priest is what we Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. So long. Greetings, I be. Greetings, Geralt. How Listen, would you craft something for me? So long. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock. So long. Oh, 
monster. My, what a freak. He's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas, he always made for an excellent trusted servant, or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Oh, I've worked up quite the appetite. Wars. Wars everywhere. Oh! On your way. You like the fans are strapping the box. made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, Vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Crimson Avenger! You're better than I thought. <laughs> The Crimson Avenger triumphs in My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. 
Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandage you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless!